Mmm, it's a orange juice. What's up everyone, this is Orange Juice. I used a ton of decks, but this one was my favorite one to use during the Electro Wizard Challenge. It's the deck that I had the most fun playing, and a deck Pompeo used to get his Electro Wizard to max level. One of the most common decks that we ran into was the Mirrored Furnace Zap Bait deck that Molt made really popular during the Electro Wizard Challenge. This deck has an answer to every card in that deck, but one misplayed zap could cost an entire tower in one sweep. I chose to play my Electro Wizard in the back because I wanted to save my bowler in case they had Elite Barbarians. The best card to play against is the Furnace because the bowler demolishes waves of fire spirits and each wave he engages slows him down reaching the enemy tower allowing you to build elixir to play your graveyard. My opponent threw a barrel at my tower and skeleton army in my electro wizard. Now I'm 100% sure his deck is zap bait and that he has a minion horde. An ice golem is perfect for taking out a skeleton army for a positive elixir trade, but it does not take out mirrored skarmy. You need to save zap or a bowler for the mirrored skeleton army. So I'm just waiting for my bowler to walk within range of the tower so he can tank for my graveyard. But my opponent uses minion hordes so that changes my plan. Fire spirits pretty much deal fireball damage to my tower so I don't want any waves passing. I probably could have afforded that one wave to hit my tower, because now I have level 10 minions coming at me. I pulled with my mega minions, cycled to my zap, and I couldn't wait for the fire spirits to catch up, otherwise the minion horde would have immediately killed it. The mega minion is really high value right now because he's tanking a few waves of fire spirits. The bowler can counter a goblin barrel perfectly, but I didn't have enough elixir, so I played an ice golem to tank one goblin, and to tank a few waves of fire spirits. My bowler counters the wave of fire spirits and skeleton army just perfectly. He plays Inferno Tower to take out my bowler, but it's right at the bridge, so Electro Wizard can disarm it fairly well. It's pretty much the first time I'm damaging his tower, but I'm not worried because this deck has really great defensive capabilities. Now I know his rotation and I'm ready to defend and start a huge counter attack. He mirrored his minion horde, so I countered with Mega Minion and Ice Golem because I need to save my zap for his goblin barrel. I'm playing a bowler in the back because I'm anticipating he'll play a furnace on the same side. This is perfect. Each wave slows him down. I'm gonna play Graveyard and predict a Fireball. Either way, I know the Fireball is gonna counter the Skeleton Army or Minion Horde. Might as well zap the Mirrored Minion Horde to get some extra tower damage. He thinks I'm down a Goblin Barrel counter, but Bowler shuts it down completely. With Zap out of rotation, I still have Ice Golem or my Electro Wizard Spawn Zap to take out the incoming Swarm. Setting up for another counter attack. Every time I cast Graveyard, I either have Zap or Fireball ready to counter his counter to my Graveyard. I held onto Fireball a bit and casted another Prediction Fireball, but it looks like he chose to scar me my bowler instead, so I zapped it. This let him get one hit off the tower and deny a Furnace Wave. Everything is reset, he sends in a Goblin Barrel, with Electro Wizard as my only answer, I covered the top right and bottom corner, knowing that my Mega Minion has the top left covered. He sends in a Mirrored Goblin Barrel, so a Fireball cancels it out for a neutral Elixir trade. Including my Mega Minion, I have a Fixer Advantage and I know his only counter to Graveyard is Skeleton Army, but I have a Zap in rotation. A bit of an overreaction on the Fireball to counter his Goblin Barrel. There were a few openings where I could have used Graveyard and Zap to take out a Skeleton Army, or Graveyard and Fireball to take out his Minion Horde. But with this deck, when played properly, it counters everything a Zap 8 deck can throw at you if you play slowly. In the second match, my opponent has maxed out cards and I have level 12 elite barbarians. You have to change the way you play your cards with different unit levels. I know that my elite barbarians won't one-shot his maxed archers, so I actually need to save Zap or Fireball to pass the archers. Without letting my Electro Wizard go to waste, I send in elite barbarians to support him and it kinda pays off. One of them hitting the tower a few times and the other one demolishing the furnace. I was a bit slow on the bowler plant, so that one archer locked onto my tower. At this point, we're pretty even in Elixir and remaining tower health. I'm not worried about splitting Skeleton Army because the tower can just take care of the right side. He split pushes with Elite Barbarians and Archers, so I have to defend with splitting my barbs too. The right side will just barely be enough, so I can focus all on the left side. He caught me by surprise when he mirrored level 14 Elite Barbs, so I zapped and fireballed my barbs just so I could get that one hit on the tower. With a minute and 30 seconds left, I just have to defend it out. He has a very well placed furnace with elite barbarian tanking. Two fire spirits would have reached my tower and dealt 500 damage, so I had to use the mega minion to soak up the spirits, plus it can absorb the next incoming wave. Bowler is just such a good card in this meta because it just completely shuts down furnace and can defend against elite barbarians. 
he mirrored his elite Barbas on the left, and they're beyond max level so the threat level is really high. I had to defend with my own elite Barbarians. They were extra scary so I zapped for insurance. With that many skeletons, a few would have hit my towers so I planted my bowler in the middle to take them out, and eventually defend against the furnace on the other side. With 15 seconds left, I can afford to fireball his archer. He rushes in with Elite Barb, so I use my Ice Golem to pull them toward my bowler in the other lane. Once you're comfortable with countering Elite Barbarians, they're not that bad to face off against. In this replay, my opponent is running a variant of the first Zap 8 deck, but with Royal Giant. Elite Barbarians are one of the best Royal Giant counters in the game, but I don't have them in rotation yet, so I have to use my Mega Minion and Electro Wizard for the DPS with the added periodic stuns. Since my Elite Barbs weren't in rotation, I took more damage from the Royal Giant than I would have liked. He has a Furnace, so I have my Zap selected ready to react to Skeleton Army. But he counters with Archers. I could have zapped them and allow my Barbs to one-shot them, but my Barbs health are already way too low. He sends in a Goblin Barrel, but I'm a bit slow on my Bowler plant, so the Goblins do deal a bit of chip damage. For 2 extra Elixir, the Bowler cancels out Goblin Barrel and offers counter-attack options. Ideally, he's great for tanking Graveyard. After zapping his Skeleton Army, he was forced to use a Furnace. With our rotations reset, I have an Electro Wizard to counter the Furnace and Mega Minion, all while keeping my Elite Barbarians on hand for any potential Rural Giant. I didn't have any proper counters to his Goblin Barrel, so I have to Fireball for a negative Elixir trade. Because he has Furnace and Royal Giant, I can't afford any chip damage. Ice Golem tanks the Archers as well as tank for my Graveyard. The Royal Giant only gets one hit off my tower, and now he's to deal with the headache of the Elite Barbarians. Since his Archers are one level higher than my Elite Barb, they would have absorbed four hits, all while the Mega Minion takes them out. So Fireball takes them out and chips the tower. Bowler counters Goblin Barrel, and my Mega Minion takes out both of his Mega Minions. Knowing I can fireball his right side, so I pressure the left. An Ice Golem and Graveyard combo will take out the tower if left ignored. He spent 6 Elixir defending on the left side, which is 6 he couldn't spend to push with his Royal Giant on the right side. A lot of players were dissatisfied with the Royal Giant meta, but with the Elite Barbs now in the picture, the Royal Giant can be risky to play. This deck can handle all situations. Let's show you a replay where there's no tank or zap bait involved. My opponent is running a balloon deck. They're starting to appear a lot more often with the recent death damage buff, being able to kill archers and severely damaged troops. I once lost the game because my opponent's balloon death damage chipped me out over 6 minutes. Starting off with the slowest units in the back, it's basically a mirror match. Our attacks cancel out on the left side and he pushes on the right side. Electro Wizard is perfect for countering an unprotected balloon. It doesn't reach the tower, but the bomb does. At an elixir disadvantage because of that fireball, it's safe for me to graveyard while my bowler tanks his Darina tower. With all that tower damage, one fireball and two zaps can snipe the tower. Tombstone is a really good counter against elite barbarians, but I can counteract that with a zap. Placing it one tile below the center of the tombstone eliminates all the skeletons. The zap essentially forced them to use a skeleton army. I planted an aggressive bowler because I just wanted one attack on the tower, but he shuts it down perfectly with an ice golem. An ice golem planted in the middle can tank units in the other lane. I actually sat on one elixir before casting graveyard to ensure the arena tower would lock onto the ice golem instead of my skeletons. Knowing he has skeleton army, I already have my zap hovering around the graveyard area. The fireball was a second too early to take out the tombstone spawns, so the elite barbarians do not reach the tower. With Electro Wizard to counter the balloon, I know for a fact he's gonna fireball it, so I already have my Mega Minion selected, waiting for him to cast the fireball first. We're on the same rotation, he counters my graveyard, and I counter a skeleton army with Zap. Knowing the deck rotation, it didn't matter which side I attacked, because I could fully defend against everything he had. On top of that, applying that constant pressure makes it difficult to build a push when you're constantly defending. In this match, there's another Royal Giant user, but he has an Electro Wizard. As usual, starting off with slow units in the back, I have Elite Barbarians in rotation, so I'm confident I can shut down that Royal Giant. A complete stalemate. His Royal Giant doesn't even get one shot on my tower. With Fire Spirits able to deal more damage than Fireball, I didn't want them touching my tower. If I were counting Elixir at the time, I would have known that was a really bad call on my part. He sends in a perfectly placed Royal Giant placing it on the side so that my bowler doesn't get a bowl on his tower. I have my elite barbarians to shut down his roll giant, and an ice golem to tank the minions and bring them down low enough to zap. My surviving barbarians get two hits off of the electro wizard. 
This is perfect because the tower will kill it before it reaches my tower. But this guy is really good. He sends in fire spirits to tank for his wizard. That combo would have really damaged my tower. There's no way I could have afforded that, so I had to use my Electro Wizard. Left ignored, my level 4 Electro Wizard would have dealt over a thousand damage, but the log shuts him down, so he only deals 300. Double Elixir time, and we're finding ourselves really evenly matched. I placed my bowl in the front because I know it'd lock onto the Roll Giant, plus splashes Rena Tower in the process. That Fireball was a bad play on my part because he's now at an Elixir advantage, plus he has 10 Elixir on the map. I tried to pull his elite barbs, but they slithered to the left, so there's no way I'm defending against this. Overall, we were evenly matched, so I went straight for a graveyard push and immediately used my fireball to take out his archers. For this deck, you don't want to graveyard until you've defended enough and found an opening to counterattack. I got absolutely destroyed by being overly aggressive against a skilled player. I hope you learned how to use this deck, as well as what not to do. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more quality OJ.